here's another easy SQL interview question. Uh, it's problem number 197 on leak code, and the name of the problem is rising temperature. So let's get right into it. Here's the problem. So the table name is weather, and if we examine that table, we have three columns. We have the ID column, which is an integer field. Uh, we have the record date which is a date field, and then we have a temperature, which is, again, an integer field. Um, the ID column is the primary key for this table. Uh, this table contains information about the temperature in a certain day. Uh, so here's the question. Write a SQL query to find all dates ID uh, with higher temperature compared to its previous day. Okay, so we're outputting a list of IDs and specifically it's asking for ids for that record or for that record the temperature temperature was higher than yesterday the temperature for that day was greater than the temperature the very day before that um, and if we look here it's only three columns we don't have a record for yesterday so it almost looks like we'll have to do a self-join or perform some kind of join to figure out what was yesterday's temperature um, so moving on uh, return the result table in any order the query result format is in the following example uh, this we know and here's how the result table should look so again it's just looking for a list of ids uh, that you know in which case the temperature for these days were higher than the prior day um, and then here it gives an example as to as to why that is um, so let's get started uh, and let's first think about this so first things first how do we arrive at this how do we get to a point where we can compare today's temperature to yesterday's temperature and uh, one way I can think of to do that would be joining to this table itself and matching it up so that the record date or record date uh, in one table is one day greater or one day less in the other table and here's here's what I mean by that right so if we were to select from the weather table and I'll just give this an alias of W1 um, inner join that to weather two, right? So I'm going to join to myself, but I'm going to be joining um, such that the yesterday. So in this case, right, W1 would be yesterday for this example, and W2 would be today. So we want to make sure that yesterday's date is one day less than today's date so uh there's probably different ways to do this but we can use something like a date function like a date add or a date sub depends on what language you use uh, but for this purpose i'll use a date add and we're going to be joining on the record date field once again but make sure that we're comparing it to yesterday so what this is saying here is uh join these two tables such that yesterday's date is equal to today's date minus one. And that's going to give you a record that allows you to see both yesterday and today side by side. And again, we just wanted the list of IDs. So uh, because we're using the current day as a basis to compare to yesterday, that's the ID we're going to want to pull. Um, and again, I'm just gonna make this look a little bit cleaner. I think as part of this, uh, we could also do this on the on the where clause, but I think as part of this uh, join condition, we could also just throw in here uh, that today's temperature should be greater than yesterday's temperature. And that should get us uh, what we need. So we, we're gonna be outputting a list of IDs uh, such that the temperature today is greater than the temperature yesterday. And we're able to do that because we performed this join up here uh, and made sure that yesterday's date was one day less than today's date. So hopefully that should work out. Let's go ahead and run this and hit submit. Looks good. Thanks guys.